morning. The psalmist describes God's presence as all-embracing, all-knowing, always present with us, even in the very secret places of our lives. We can know an intimate communion with that holy presence. Oh, my beloved, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my innermost thoughts. You find me on the journey and guide my steps. You know my strengths and my weaknesses. Even before words rise up in prayer, lo, you've already heard my heart call. You encompass me with love wherever I go, and your strength is my shield. Such sensitivity is too wonderful for me. It is high. Boundless gratitude is my soul's response. Where could I go from your spirit? Or how could I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in darkness, you are there. If I soar on the wings of the, of the morning or dwell in the deepest parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me and your love will embrace me. If I say, let only darkness cover me, and the, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night dazzles as with the sun, the darkness is as light with you. How precious to me are your creations, O blessed one! How vast is the sum of them! Who could count your innumerable gifts and blessings? At all times, you are with me. Moving on to the contemporary reading. Here, our source of life is known in the source of prayer. From Tom Harper's Finding the Still Point, the poverty of silence is truly rich in inner and outer peace. Pure silence holds a wealth of creativity and wisdom new energy and profound compassion. If above all the space in which God's overwhelming bounty makes the clearest epiphany to the soul. And finally, reading from Matthew 6, 9 to 13, regarding Jesus' teaching prayer to his disciples. This is how you are to pray. Abba God in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your reign come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the bread of tomorrow, and forgive us our debts, as we hereby forgive those who are indebted to us. Don't put us to the test, but free us from evil. May these words open us to the Spirit's presence. And may wisdom come to us this day. Mm -hmm.